Hey everyone, hi Mia. So at the end of next week is the kindergarten Christmas party and they do this thing called a bottle auction which they, everyone donates a bottle wrapped up, it has to be non-alcoholic and you can put anything you want inside it and people bid on these mystery bottles and it raises money for upkeep of play equipment and other resources. So I asked my youngest, my four year old, what she wants to do and she found this little bottle and she wants me to make dice. So she said, because it's a Christmas party, so we've got red, green, we have some holog really fine holographic and some iridescent white flakies. And I have put probably less than an eighth of a teaspoon of it all mixed in here and we're gonna make some dice. Okay, I'm in two minds about which moulds to use purely because I don't have as much time as what I thought I did. The last clip you saw was recorded about five days ago and I would like to make them look nice and so I have the blanks and the shells and I'm considering using all of this beautiful glitter mix and just pouring some just it straight into the shell molds I'm thinking purely for time's sake so I think that's what I'll do I'll pour them straight into the shell molds and maybe maybe I'll do like a a wispy dip of ink or maybe I'll put a couple of drops of I don't know gold or copper I think I'll do a drop or two of the pinata copper color yeah that's what I'll do I'm not sure if I'll do it as a dirty pour or if I'll do it as a fully mixed in, but we will see how it goes. So as soon as my resin has warmed up, we'll get going.
Now we wait for 24 hours. Okay, let's see what we ended up with. Now glitter does have a tendency to sink, but it doesn't look like it has. There's only a couple of little voids on the D100, but I think these look pretty good. I'm just going to peel back the flashing and we'll get these unmolded. And I'm thinking for the numbers, I'll paint the odds in red and the evens in green. down the light. That is... Focus! No, I won't focus on the glitter. D. Six. As suspected, some of the glitter has sunk to one side. But it's still really pretty. some beautiful dice. Alright, I'm going to go get the paint and we'll paint in. Okay, here are our dice all painted in. So we're going to put them in our little jar. So what we're going to do is we're going to put some of these iridescent flakies just in the jar. It's not, I guess, as annoying as um, glitter. And these will be relatively easier to clean up for whoever ends up bidding and winning this. So, dice in. Lid on. There we 
we go. Right, now we have to wrap it. So, tape. And I'm using or recycling this uh, grocery bag, which had this cool Christmas pattern on it. So we're going to wrap it in this. There's a little bit of a hole so I can have a nosy. Okay, now for the top. And just to make it look extra fancy, I'm getting out my um, sealing wax and wax stamps. So we're going to put a wax seal on the top.
Here we go. Mystery dice with a lovely wax seal with a dragon on top. And this is the mystery set of dice I'm making for the kindergarten fundraiser auction. If you like this video, thumbs up, share, tell your friends and subscribe and I'll see you in another video. Bye!